it is my job to make sure that this does not happen to you. Do not be a deer caught in the headlights. More things coming up. I'm Lynette Zhang, Chief Market Analyst here at ITM Trading. We are a full service, physical, gold and silver dealer specializing in custom strategies, helping you plan to make it through this reset and dare I say it, even thrive on the other side of it. And today we're going to take client questions that came in from our consultants. And we're going to start with one of Sari's, with Sari, one of our consultants, and her client asks about taxes on a 401k. She heard that they're going to start taxing that as of next year. Have you heard anything about that? Well, I did a little bit of digging, so I did look at that one first because I hadn't heard anything about it. And quite honestly, it doesn't really make sense to me at any rate. So no, I could find nothing on them uh, taxing or having you deposit after tax dollars or taxing the money that's in the 401k itself. Because if they did do that on a regular basis, there would really be no point in making a deposit into the 401k since the whole premise is that these are pre-tax dollars. I have heard and read the Congress discussing a one-off tax, which means that they would just go in and tax you it's like 11.3% and do it one time because then your behavior wouldn't change. But if they started to tax the, the money that you were putting into the 401k or the money that was already in the 401k on a regular basis, it would really basically kill the 401k industry. So uh, no. Now, what you might have heard though, for those that took hardship withdrawals this year, there are there might be some taxes that are due. I am not a tax accountant, so if you did take a withdrawal from your 401k under the new rules, then you probably should, I, I would advise you to check with your tax accountant and uh, see what could be coming next year. And uh, from Keeley, John M asks, is buying the MS62s and 63s okay, or do I need to buy a higher grade? For the last five years, I have bought 30 ounces of American Gold Eagle bullion and have recently started selling it back to get pre-33s. Well, you know, John, it really depends on what you're trying to accomplish. Personally, I have, you know, actually five different kinds of gold. I have my barterable gold for my property taxes. Then I have my pure asset protection gold. Um, well, I have my emergency gold, and then I have my pure asset protection gold, and then I have my growth gold, and then I have my legacy gold. So that's why I'm sure that when you talked to Killy, you discussed what your goals are, and she will help you determine what, it's the right tool for the job, is really what I'm saying. So there's no blanket answer to that. It really needs to be based upon what you are trying to, to accomplish. Uh, but, you know, everybody's got to do what they're comfortable with. I used to hold bullion gold, like the American Eagles. I don't even hold one. I don't even have one. All of my gold is, well, the barterable is pre-48, 1948, but all of the rest of it is all pre-33. And then this is a client from Fern, uh, Peter. I am currently moving to a new mortgage product and have the option of a five and seven year fixed rate mortgage and interest only at 1.44%. And the other at 1.99% for five and seven years, respectively. As part of my strategy 
from what is likely to come sooner than later, economic storm, and my move into gold for safety, I am wondering this, do I fix for the longest term that I can at this point to perhaps be able to take advantage of an opportunity down the road to pay off my mortgage? If so, would five years more than suffice or should I go to seven years or neither? The seven year rate makes my monthly payment about $150 more each month. Okay, so here, the biggest challenge, I can tell you what's gonna happen because history tells us that and we can watch this unfolding. The timing is the biggest challenge. So I would go out as long as possible be, and then hold your wealth in the gold so that when the time is right, when they do that reset, you know, uh, even, even seven years, if you can go a little bit longer, then you might want to consider that because I can't sit here and tell you, yes, they are going to reset the mortgages for sure within seven years. It may take, it may be longer than that, but that is exactly what you do. Rather than paying that off, you take the money, you put it in gold, and uh, Fernando can help you determine how much gold you are likely to need, or at least how much you would need right now. Down the road, it's probably going to be less. But at this moment, he can help you determine how many ounces or how much gold you need to have in order to cover that mortgage. Uh, when that reset, the overnight reset takes place. So uh, let's see, I think we have time for some viewer submitted questions. Peter asks, can Britannia coins be confiscated by the US government and therefore US coins be confiscated in the UK? Well, you know, the, if, it, if, it, if it is a new coin, it is classified as bullion. And really, frankly, governments can do anything they want. So I can't say no, they can't, or yes, they can. They can do whatever they want. But the rule of thumb that I typically use is can I hold it in my IRA? If I can hold it in my IRA, I'm not buying it because that is where most of the gold is held. And that basically tells you what the government classifies as bullion gold. So look and see, uh, and the U.S., by the way, has the broadest reach amongst all of the countries to go and confiscate wealth wherever it's held in the world if you are a U.S. citizen. Uh, I don't think, I'm not really familiar with the laws, so you can't hold me to this one, but I'm pretty sure the U.K. does not have as broad a reach. Personally, my level of comfort is to be in the collectible coins because they're in a completely different category and you cannot hold them inside of an IRA. And John Reynolds asks, if they're going to inflate away the debt, don't they need to also stop creating new debt? Well, no, not really. They can create, it's kind of like if you knew you were gonna declare bankruptcy and you got some credit cards in the mail, well, you know, you're writing off that debt. So most people, would go out and spend as much as they can on the credit cards, knowing that they're going to be declaring bankruptcy. So no, they don't need to stop creating new debt as long as the central banks and hey, Fed Chair Powell promised, no matter how much new debt the US government issues, the Fed will be in there buying it if the market, whatever the market doesn't buy. So as long as the confidence is there, they can absolutely keep doing that and they will indeed keep doing that. Uh, I think on public debt, this is not all the US debt, but on the public side of the debt, we're up to 143% uh, percent of GDP. That is just beyond outrageous. So hey, it's, it's the end. Why not do as much as you can and get away with as much as you can. Just understand that the more debt they create, the more money they create, the less purchasing power value that the money that's already out there has. That's why you need physical gold and silver that is completely outside of the system. And Android Z asks, 
Virtually everyone else says silver is a better, <laughs> okay. Virtually everyone else says silver is a better investment now. Doesn't silver usually move up more than gold in a bull market? Silver is more volatile because it kind of straddles two worlds. So it is definitely the secondary monetary metal, but it is also an industrial metal. So if we're having a slowdown globally in the global economy, that's why you see it really a lot more volatile. And to tell you the truth, I never really much care what anybody else says. I care about what the data says because those could just be random opinions. And while there certainly may be time that you would see silver move up in terms of fiat more rapidly than you might see gold move up in terms of fiat, in the studies that I've done in hyperinflation, and we can, um, Dylan, make sure that you post that link on the blog so you can go in and look at these studies yourself. Uh, what, what I discovered was that gold always outperforms silver during a hyperinflationary reset. And the reason is, is because that's what they revalue the fiat money against. The, in this country, dollars, but wherever you are, they revalue those dollars against gold money. Infinite amount of dollars, more debt they create, more dollars they create, finite amount. So, you know, if you are trading, and that's the other thing, if you are a trader, then you're going to convert whatever into dollars. But as the dollars lose value, what good do they do you? A trillion times zero is zero. Stock market can go to the moon like it did in Venezuela, like it did in Zimbabwe, like it did in many other places. And then they lop off zero, bam, it plummets. So we can't be fooled by those things. And what's your intention? If it is a short-term trade, I'd have to look on my graphs to tell you, but all of the things that I talk about with wedge formations and cups and, and resistance levels and support levels and all of that, if you're a trader, you just shorten all that stuff up. But I personally am not a trader. I am a strategist and I am 100% crystal clear that we are transitioning into a completely new system. And to think that there will not be bumps along the way, whether it's the stock system. I mean, the ISDA said, they said at the head of the ISDA, this is our opportunity. We are changing the entire market structure. Well, it's never been done before. So what do you think? Easy peasy? No. So you need both. I'm not saying one or the other, but for me, Silver is my barterable position. And there are formulas built into the strategy to help you determine how much you need to sustain your standard of living. See, my, it, it, for my strategy and when I'm, when I'm positioned for myself and for my children, I'm going out 10 years. That goes back to that first question about five to seven years. Because really, I can't tell you how long the hardest part of this trend is going to last. I would take out a longer mortgage than that, than, than seven years. But silver is not a better investment because it depends on the function. It's a better investment for your barterable portfolio, but it's not a better investment if you intend to convert it into, say, some commercial real estate down the road. You just need way too much of it. And when the reset, the overnight reset occurs, they don't reset it against silver. Silver will move because it'll move with gold. But even in Venezuela, they both moved, silver not as much. So I, I think they're both amazing investments and they are the safest thing you can do when it's physical out of the system in your possession because it runs no counterparty risk. But that would be... You know, that, that's the way I look at it. You do whatever it is that you're comfortable with. So that's it for this group of questions today. Uh, I was on, on uh, Tuesday, I think it was, with Mike with Rethinking the Dollar. And that was really just a great interview. It's already live. 
And um, I earlier, it's probably out now, I'm pre-recording this one. So I was on with Lior Gans on future money trends. And uh, this was really a good interview. I think you guys would really enjoy it. I'm not sure exactly, it may be out already, just check our socials. And next week I'm on with Eric from Trad Cat Night Radio. And I am certain, we're, we well we do, we have a ton of things to talk about. So if you have any questions about this or anything else, just send them in to questions at itmtrading.com. And, you know, if you like this, please give us a thumbs up uh, and make sure that if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscription button and that little bell next to it. We'll let you know when we're going to post a video. We do that all the time. So I want you to absolutely keep in mind, don't be a deer in the headlights. Don't be sitting there waiting going, what should I do? Gold and silver are severely undervalued. They are a bargain and they will save you just like they have for 6,000 years. So until we meet again, please be safe out there. Bye-bye.